Hello, wonderful fourth grade students. This is your friendly neighborhood of fourth grade teacher coming to tell you how to add and subtract unlike denominators. Now we have not really seen this problem yet this year. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we need to do. We're like, whoa, dude, we can't add this. There's not the same denominator. So now we're gonna figure out how we can do that. The first step is to look at the problem and to make sure that the denominators are not the same. And sure enough, this is a six, this is a 12. We cannot add that because the denominators are not the same. The next step that we do is we find the first, com the first multiples of six and the first multiples of 12. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna do six and then 12. So my wonderful fourth grade teachers have had me skip count all year and so skip counting sixes should be easy peasy. And so we're going to go and we're going to do the first five multiples of six just to see if we can get to it. So six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. And I think I'm going to end there. Okay. Now I need to find my first multiples of 12. So and remember, 12 is just a 10 and a 2. So if you break it down like that, it'll be easy. So 12 is 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and we'll stop there. So now that we have these, our next step is to find our lowest common multiple, our LCM. So we go up to six and we look, does, does 12 have any sixes in it? No, it does not. So that is not a common multiple. Now we look, does 12 have 12 in it? It sure does, here's a common multiple. Okay, now we go to the next number, 18. Do we have 18 in six and in 12? Let's see, it's in six, but it is not in 12, so that is not a common multiple. Now we look at 24. Is there 24 in both six and 12? Yes, there is, so there's 24 and 24. Now our next number in sixes is 30. Do we have 30 in both? Nope, just in one, so we cross it off. Now we go to 36. Oh, there's a 36 and six and a 36 and 12. I'm gonna stop there because I have found a common multiple. You need to find at least one, and this is why. We are finding the lowest common multiple, so you're going to find the littlest multiple in the pair. So right now we have 12, 24, and 36. 36 would not be the littlest, 24 would not be the littlest, 12 would be the littlest. So we are going to make that our denominator. So we go up here and if we're going to make this six a 12, how many times did we have to skip count? We had to skip count one, two, hmm. Okay, so two times six is 12. So six times two would be 12. Now what's really cool, Whatever we have, we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So if we times the new denominator by two, we have to times the numerator by two. So three times two is six. Very good. Now we bring down that addition symbol. Now, how many times did we have to skip count 12 to go to 12? Well, it looks like just a one. So 12 times one, is 12 and remember whatever we do to the denominator we have to do to the numerator so 12 times 1 is 12 2 times 1 is 2. now look at this we're looking at our problem again is it got the same denominator it does so we we're we're, we're good we're good we can add and what we do with the same denominator is we add across the two with the numerators 6 plus 2 is 8. And if the denominators are the same, 
the denominator stays the same. So the answer would be 8 twelfths. Okay. Now let's do one more. Okay, so let's see. Let's do three eighths plus four sixteenths. I really want to know what that is. Okay, again, that first step is to look at the problem. I notice that the denominators are not the same. I wonder what I need to do in order to make them the same. Well, wonder no further. We are going to fix that. Our next step is going to take our denominators and we're going to find the first multiples of the denominator. So we're going to find 8 and we're going to find 16. So let's do 8, 16, 24, 32, uh, 40, oh my goodness, 48, 56, 64. Okay, then I'm going to stop there. Now, 16s are a little bit trickier because we have not been working on 16s really. But we can do it because just like 12 is a 10 and a 2, 16s are a 10 and a 6. Okay, so our first one is 16. Now, if we have a 10 to that, that's 26, plus 6 more is 32. Okay. And then we have 10 more for that. That'd be 42, plus 6 more would be 48. 10 would be 58, plus 6 more would be 56. No, 58 plus 6 more would be 64. Sorry about that. We're going to stop there. Okay, now we're going to find the LCM, the lowest common multiple. So up here we're going to look. Okay, 8 has an 8. Let's look at 16. Do they have 8? No, they do not. So that can't be 1. Now we're going to look at 16. Is 16 in both numbers? It sure is. So I'm going to circle this. Now I'm going to look at 24. Is 24 in both numbers? Nope, it's only in 8. Now we're going to go to 32. Is 32 in both numbers? It is, so I'm going to circle. 40, nope, it's not there. Now what about 48? It is. 56, nope, 64. And now we have four multiples. We have 16, we have 32, we have 48, and we have 64. But we're not finding any multiple that is common. We're finding the lowest common multiple. Trust me, you'll want to do that. The lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple is not 64, 48, 32. It is 16. It is that very first multiple that you get to. So we are wanting to make our denominators 16. Now, if we do that, what do I need to do times 8, my denominator, to, to get 16? Let's see how many times I skip counted. 1, 2. So 2 times 8 would be 16. So 8 times 2 would be 16. Now, if you've been listening, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the, the numerator. The numerator, okay? So we did 8 times 2, so now we need to do times 2 up here. So we're doing times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. We need to bring down that addition symbol. Now how many times do we need to skip count to get to 16? That looks like a 1. 1. So 16 times 1 would be 16. And whatever we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator. So 4 times 1 is 4. Now we look at our problem and we notice that the denominators are the same. And I wonder if now I can add them. And I sure can. 
So now let's look at this. Six plus four, because we add the numerators, six plus four is 10. And if the denominator is the same, it stays the same. All right, guys. You did a good job. Thank you for listening.